My name is Gabron, but everybody knows me as GB Local. Subscribe and like to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Today I'm doing a video about Nipsey Hussle's song with CeeLo Green called Loaded Bases. I was inspired to do a reaction video on this song because I thought a lot of these words resonated with me and a few sentences in particular I wanted to break down. Before we get started, I want to know your favorite Nipsey Hussle song, so go ahead and comment down below. First line is loaded bases, that's motivation. This is a baseball metaphor. I like this metaphor because there's no other option but winning. If you don't win, then you're going home and nobody wants to go home in a way of defeat. I resonate with it in a way that I feel like all the pressure is on my shoulders in order to succeed and not only my creative journey, but also in life. And I feel that when you're writing a line like that, you can resonate to that because that is not just about a baseball game. It's about succeeding throughout a career, throughout a journey. I tied that into an example of rappers in the South. Rappers in the South, a lot of times they end up putting on all their friends, their homies, and they, they tie in together. And uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to do with my visions, my creations, with my YouTube channel, uh, with all the people that are from Venice and from the V, bring us all up and bring us all uplifted into a place where uh, we all envision ourselves being. Nipsey also saying, there's a couple of niggas every generation that wasn't supposed to make it out, but they decode the matrix. The reason I relate to this is because I feel that in order for me to be able to make it out of the situation that I came in, I have to decode the matrix. I have to be able to get into a, a specific spirituality space and mind space to be able to elevate to the next level. So I feel that, especially in this day and age, anybody that is an African-American person of color, a person of color that is not of a privileged background, has to dig in, dig in deep, and get it out the mud. And what I mean by that is they have to push hard. They have to break barriers, break barriers for themselves and their families and people that look like them. Um, that's the only way I think that we'll be able to advance in the ways that we want to as a people, as a community, as a nation, as a culture, uh, African-American culture is one of the most praised and looked after cultures there is. And I feel that those people that are able to decode the matrix and make it out of all of the bullshit that we're set into, people look at you in a different light. Anybody who has any opinions, I would like to hear them. Comment down below. The next line is when they get to speak, it's like a coded language. I believe who he's talking about when he says they is the exceptions. The exceptions that we're able to make it through thick and thin, little resources or no resources to be able to get to that next level, next stage of life, which is success. The reason this relates, I think, to me so much is because I feel that as a young artist that's trying to get to your craft and that's doing it by saying, fuck the middleman, I believe that if you do that on your own, if you could do that with being very self-sufficient, once you're on that next level, it gets to seem like you have a coded language because people are wondering how were you able to surpass the bullshit rat race and craziness that happens in our everyday and be able to surpass that to get to a career, a brand new house, owning a home, a university, living abroad, um, doing what you love. Once you, you are at that level to do what you love, people look at you like you have a coded language. And I think that one came straight from our ancestors. I believe that our ancestors came through and speak through Nipsey Hussle. So the last line I want to go over, Nipsey Hussle saying, remind niggas of their strength and all this stolen greatness. This country that we live in is stolen greatness. We took it from somebody else that already had their land. The reason I say that is because how did America get built? Whose backs was America built on? The immigrants, specifically black slave labor, African Americans because they came from Africa and now we don't even know where our roots come from. I believe Nipsey also was saying the chosen few, the exceptions that were able to be able to speak the coded language will be reminded of all their power and strength through speaking with all the people around them. Niggas is anybody and everybody that is enlightened enough to understand what's going on. 
to me what I took from that is it came straight from my ancestors it came through the spirits and just ended up coming through Nipsey Hussle's voice but I think that what he what he means by reminds niggas of their strength that we're strong we're strong people you know black people African American people the people that built this country for free of slave labor and so it reminds us of our strength and all this stolen greatness to remain strong in who you are even though the situations aren't always the prettiest, aren't always the easiest. Uh, just remaining uh, true to yourself and true to your spirit and true to your ancestors. I think that's what he was tapping in on. And all this stolen greatness is America. This is America that we live in, that we call home, that a lot of people say the Pledge of Allegiance and believe it. Before American or America was a thing, there were people that were living in this great stolen land. That's what I think he was trying to clue us in on. And the people who can differentiate and, and depict the song correctly, I think they'll be able to kind of see that in that same light. This is GV Local. Subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already. And tell your friend, your auntie, your mama, and your cousin, your distant uncle to do the same. These are palm trees as always.